Dunya says, hi guys, is anyone working on Azure AD to Azure AD synchronization? Is it possible in any way, Tenant01, Microsoft 365 hosted Azure AD, Tenant2, apps, services, and virtual machines? Is there any way we are able to sync both Azure AD to avoid unnecessary user creation? Intention is to provide seamless access to Tenant02 resources. Yeah, so basically what they're trying to do is they're trying to sync two Azure Active Directories, you know, um, and that would the be only, the question. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> you know, uh, plain and simple, but uh, it seems the only way to really do that is you have to go back to a uh, on premise uh, AD to do that. So currently with Azure AD Connect, that's the only way you can do that. So Azure AD Connect can, can sync to multiple online tenants. So you can have a single AD presence on-prem that can sync to one, two, three, four, ten different online tenants. Um, so you would make all of your users, you know, standard inside of that AD on-prem and sync it to both tenant one and tenant two, uh, which would basically sync those together. Now, that's not to say that you could not uh, actually uh, script a function to duplicate those users between a tenant one and a tenant two which is entirely possible. The only thing I'd be cautious of, uh, if you did that using Azure uh, 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 CLI, would be that you, uh, for any reason, um, you know, it falls out of sync. And we all know when Active Directory falls out of sync, bad things can happen. So I would rather rely on a tool that's actually, you know, its primary, you know, reason for living is to sync uh, Active Directory uh, to do that job for you. Yeah, because there are a number of replication, third-party replication tools that do that, mm -hmm. that there are. have different aspects. I mean, I know that there's backup, so you can do like AD backup. And again, but then you have the synchronization issues, even if it's a small amount of time. Right. And so having that replication, recognize changes and whatever trigger can do it automatically or that it runs every hour or you know, several times a day, however, however it is, but there are a lot of options for that. Well, and I agree. I agree. I don't understand why Microsoft natively hasn't come up with a way to sync from one tenant to another, you know, in, without even touching on-prem. Uh, to me, that makes sense, but maybe there's a technical reason for that. Maybe there's a reason why that synchronization can't happen. I don't know. Maybe you just like to take food out of the mouths of ISVs, Mike. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this it could be. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> it's 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 an opportunity. It for, is. You know, product teams. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> it's a uh, it's subject matter in this question that I'm not very familiar with. And as Mike is answering the question, I'm wondering what would an expected use case be for synchronizing that single on-premise AD to multiple tenants? If uh, a good example of that would be test dev. So uh, if for yes. some reason you wanted a, a separate tenant or uh, to isolate um, your test dev, uh, completely isolate, say your developers wanted a completely different environment. Uh, and because number one, maybe they want to replicate the exact same uh, virtual networks, uh, which you can't do inside of a single tenant. Uh, you know, things like that. That's a good example. Interesting. Thank you.